Now, I think we've established that as teenagers, most of us could boast at least one weird obsession. And it could be literally anything. Pictures of cats, Beckham's tats, or secretly trying on our granny's hats. We were all <laughs> transfixed by something. So, let's find out what my ex-teenage guests were obsessing about. As always, I'm interested in peak embarrassment and the most embarrassing obsession will go in the box. Uh, Vic. David Beckham. Oh. oh, classic, classic teenage obsession. Yeah, it, it was a lot. It was a lot. I loved him so much. I think that was the first person I properly, like, fancied. I had a whole wall that was just pictures of David Beckham, and I sort of um, put them in little sections based on the hairstyle. So there was a little bit of Mohawk Beckham, a little bit of Skinhead Beckham, a little bit of Curtains Beckham, the Pseudo Mullet Beckham. So there's a little bit of everything. Pseudo Mullet Beckham. Pseudo Mullet. And I'd even I'd re read magazines, if I saw even the tiniest picture of him, I would snip it out of nail scissors and add it to the shrine. Oh. I used to um, <laughs> with the phones that we used to have, there was only limited space for inbox and outbox. Yeah. So you had to really curate your messages. And um, I've, I've got one here. An old BB, Blackberry. Oh. I used oh, yeah, to yeah. use up some of my precious message space yeah. writing messages where I would write out the song lyrics of romantic ditties and replace the word love with David or Beckham oh. or both. Uh, we, I need, <laughs> yeah, we need examples here. I mean... <laughs> I feel it in my fingers. I feel it in my toes. David Beckham is all around me. <laughs> 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 and so the feeling grows. <laughs> Why did I write that? Why did wow. I do that? There was well, another one. Yeah, what is a good question. Why? <laughs> My loneliness is killing me, open oh. bracket, and I, close bracket. <laughs> <laughs> I must confess, I still believe, open bracket, still believe, close bracket. <laughs> <laughs> when I'm not with you, I lose my mind. Give me a sign. Hit me, David Beckham, one more time. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Oh. No, I genuinely prefer that to the original. Yeah. <laughs> I, I couldn't tell you why I did that. Susie. Yes. Obsessions. Musical theatre. Yeah. Absolutely love musical theatre. What got so, you into it? So when I was uh, at school, I, I didn't have loads of friends, and so Mum thought I should join. Because a thing. of the musical theatre, or is that's what got you into the musical theatre? I mean, I think it's six or one half a dozen <laughs> of the other. <laughs> <laughs> I took it very seriously. I would be so over the top uh, that I'd say to people, um, I, can't, I can't talk in class because I'm on vocal rest <laughs> because I'm doing a show this week. <laughs> Just, I was really, really into it. Let's have a song. What? Let's have a song. Oh, God, do you hear the people <laughs> sing, singing the song of angry men? It is the... I don't know no, the words. No, 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 it's OK, fine, fine. Know. That's Les Mis, right? Yeah. You're not in musical theatre now? No, but no, I'm stage, actually but... hoping that by doing this show, someone will cast me. <laughs> I don't know what more you... I, don't, I, I felt like I really brought the French Revolution <laughs> to this show, so... Listen, um... I'm, I'm allowed to give you another quick blast of Les Mis just as an audition. As an audition? Yeah, take it, take I it away. I dreamed a dream in time gone by. One hope was high and life worth living. Wow! <laughs> 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 All right, wasn't that bad? <laughs> the emotion, Jules. What was a young Jules Holland obsessed with? Obsessed. Well, obsessed. You know, I was obsessed with music. I was obsessed, of course, with transport as well. I like cars and motorbikes, and I, you know, I thought the way into this would be through a motorbike gang. I'd seen Marlon Brando in The Wild One. Yeah, I thought this is the life of me. Freedom, the freedom of the road, the camaraderie of us all together, the, the we couldn't care less that we're out this together. Come on. You know. What bikes did you have? I didn't have a bike. <laughs> <laughs> I was what I was. Rebel without a bike. Yes. I was actually what was known. I was actually what was known as a bus greaser. Bus greaser? Yeah, so that you would come in, because it was like greasers, where you, you know, you went to the motorbike pubs and you'd have the crash helmet, you'd have a leather jacket and the boots, which I'll show you, I've got here as well, and everything, but you'd actually got there by bus. So no. that was the bus greaser, yeah. I'm, I'm telling you right now, that's going in the box, whatever else happens. <laughs> and I've got the, the boots, which I used to wear, um, and they've got, exactly, um, spurs. Spurs! So not only did I have the crash helmet, but no but motorbike, I didn't actually have a horse, but when I strode into that pub 
with the crash helmet and the spurs, I thought I was the... Well, no, no, what they oh. thought was, is that a fella lost his horse or his bike? <laughs> 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 what was it called? What was the, what was the gang called? Speed Freaks. I'm not sure... What <laughs> they have good nicknames. And who, was, who was in the gang? Did you have the Beast? Well, Knuckles? Was was in, this, in the gang, we had Clive. Um... <laughs> 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 of course you did. Of course you did. <laughs> None of it screams <laughs> the Hells Angels document. But we have got a picture of you. Finally got a bike, and here we are. There we Look are. Look at that. Look, that is... That is... You cool. can't quite see my spurs, but let me tell you, they're there. Yeah. <laughs> How long were you in the gang for? Probably, I think the gang lasted for about three weeks, I think. <laughs> <laughs>